The inaugural season of girls seven on seven flag football as a CIF sanctioned sport is underway. If I had to describe this season in three words, I would say it was magical, exhilarating, and revolutionary. I want to win. I want us to be successful in everything we do. So summer training was very rigorous. It was brand new. Uh, learning a brand new sport takes a lot of work, but I think our coach prepared us well and we got to really learn and grow with each other. I got hired to coach flag football in the spring of 2023. I didn't really know what to expect. My thoughts were, we're gonna give it a shot. I knew that for sure one thing wasn't gonna happen. I didn't get hired to coach powder puff football. I wanted to coach varsity football and it was just with a different set of rules. I'm Ada Myers, I'm at Scott O'Leary Stadium and behind me is the first ever girls flag football team and they're taking on the Bishop Diego Cardinals. First game win, I think we were all really excited. Super hyped for the next game, but we tried to not get in over our heads because we know that going in overconfident would not set us up for success. We watched films several times a week. We had offensive and defensive game plans and installs just like tackle football. This was no different. Their preparation was the equivalent of any tackle football team I've ever coached, if not better than some years. Memorable moment um, for the team. It's just anytime, anytime we're hyped and we're dancing after either we win, before we win. With my girls, anything's great. I don't care, I just, I want So a few games in, it was pretty clear that we had a great team and something that happens with great teams is our ego gets in the way of our growth. When things are going good, you start to think that it's always going to be good. Pueblo is meeting in flag football. The home DP Chargers are the team to beat in the Channel League. Yeah! Six nothing and half, and that was the final. Six nothing. Dos Pueblos moves to five and zero in the Channel League, twelve and one overall. Into the second to last game of the season, we faced our crosstown rival in Santa Barbara. We were undefeated in the league at that point, and this game would clinch Channel League for us. Football is a game of inches, and we just lost some of those vital inches, and we lost that game, fourteen to twelve. Now to win Channel League, we had to win our final game of the year versus Rio Mesa. It was a back and forth game, and then exploded in the second half with dominant offense and defensive performances, finishing off the game 33 to 14. But so are you, just like I tell you every week. Win, lose, or draw, play the way you prepared, and we'll walk up into a crowd regardless. Loud and proud, let's go, let's go. It was an absolute honor to be selected as one of the top 20 teams in Southern California to compete in this tournament. We lost by four points in the semifinals to the eventual champions, and it was a sad moment knowing our season was over. We also went back with a lot of pride knowing that we represented the 805 and Dos Pueblos with pride and honor. Three, 